and I want you to remember what I tell you. All right, first thing is we dropped your hands down about three or four degrees. I want the shaft of the club. I want the club to lay flat on the ground, and I want the butt end of the club to point to your belly button. So your hands are too high there. Now, what did we do to your backswing? Well, when I saw you hit that awful first shot, I said, we're going to take your backswing lower, more around your body. Now, that's what you were doing before, what you were demonstrating there. So now, this is the result of what you just did, which was very good. This shaft is still too high, by the way. we got to lower it down. But this was your backswing. Oh, you did lower it down. Okay. I did. That's right. And you did it. All right. Good. I hear that. That's a good takeaway. And that's... That's all right, though. You're collapsing your arm. Your right arm's overbending, but that's okay. That's where your hand should be, in that cone area. By the way, I'm left-handed for whatever reason. All right. That's why I've done this, but. All right, so there. When you come down, you stayed right in the cone, and you're. that's a beautiful shot. That's going to be a good shot, and it was a good shot. So if you can make that swing, keeping your golf club in your hands in that cone, you're going to have a lot of good shots. Posture, not so good. Yeah, it looks really rounded. Your back is rounded. You're going to have to work on your with your trainer. I want you to work on some posture exercises. Pull your shoulder blades down. I want you to grab my sides right here. All right, now I'm going to do a mini crunch. Right. All right, that's how I want you to stand. And to like activate your core muscles. What are you doing to do that? I'm doing a mini tilt, like a little pelvic tilt. Look, watch. Oh. Like that. Like a little crunch. If you were on your back. Yeah, squeeze. That's it. Just a, just a little bit. So there, okay. you're just activating there. Now, why is that important? You don't want to arch your lower back because you can't rotate, and you don't want to be in C posture, which is what you're in. We want to have a little bit more of a flat back. So if I said do a mini crunch, where you're, you're cheaping, you know, if you were laying on your back and I said, just yeah, but it's also a little tilt in your pelvis. Look, my belt buckle is. is moving upward a little bit. That's it. You got it. That's it. That's like that. So these muscles are there which you're activating. Yeah. So I've, this is affecting your posture. And it's affecting your ability to rotate when your back is in a C posture like that. And that's why you look at your head. It comes up a little bit. All right. So the good news is you're just going to practice this little drill. Grab your left wrist, pull your lead arm across your chest. Grab it like this so your palm's facing the inside of your right wrist. The palm's facing the inside of the right wrist. There you go. Right palm faces the inside. Now pull it across. Yeah, that's it. Now come down to the ball with your left wrist in a supinated position. We call that flexion. This is extension. You don't want that. You want that. So that's another thing I haven't told you about until now, but that's something you're going to be working on. Watch my lead wrist. Knuckles, My knuckles are going to be down. Right. This wrist is going to be arched. I don't know if anyone's ever told you that. Right. So that's a big deal. So when you, when you practice your impact position, you should be practicing motion training and... Part of motion training is learning to get your left wrist flat. One of the fundamentals is getting that lead arm and shaft in a straight line. All right, enough. <laughs>